Hey everyone, so today I'm doing a first impression video on the Bourjois Happy Light Foundation and I've never used this before obviously and I got it recently and I'll leave all the links of where you can get it down below. So sorry about my appearance but I literally just like rolled out of bed maybe 40 minutes ago, had a shower and then just came and got ready to film. So it is currently 10am and you're probably thinking, wow Shannon you are not an early riser and no I am not I hate the morning <laughs> I'm definitely an evening girl so yeah my skin at the moment is breaking out still it's pretty crap um, the rest of my skin's alright I've basically just got normal skin so it's not oily it's not combination it's not dry or anything at the moment it's just plain old normal so I'm gonna start off with the bourgeois happy light base serum and this is like the primer that is supposed to go with it and I do actually really like this I've tried this a few times so I'm just going to use about three small pumps of that because each pump does distribute a really small amount which I really like because you don't get too much at a time you can really customize it I'm just going to apply that all over my face with my fingers I find that this primer basically just smooths down my skin a bit and makes it feel really soft and smooth ready to apply foundation on top Onto foundation, I got the shade Golden Beige, which is number 53. And if you're wondering how I picked my shade since I did buy it online, um, basically I went to the Foundation Matrix on Temptalia and Foundation, which are two websites I will link down below. And basically you can put in any foundations that you already know you wear, or you can put in like your undertone and all that kind of thing, and it'll come up with a list of the foundations that will match you. And I don't think that this particular foundation was actually listed on the website, but I did know my shade in other bourgeois foundations, so I could compare so that's how I came up with this shade and hopefully it matches me I don't have like basically any fake tan on at the moment so I did pick one to match me when I'm more fake tanned but I'm sure we'll make it work so it says on here it's luminous and flawless complexion in any light so it's supposed to look good in all lighting situations you know like indoor, outdoor harsh lighting etc I guess that's what it's trying to say it's got translucent pigments I have no idea what that means and it corrects without masking and it's a light enhancer eight hours of hydration so apparently it's a hydrating foundation so probably not for really oily skin tones more for normal to dry I would guess comes in 30 mils pump bottle standard size for a foundation as I really like how it's got a pump so let's begin I'm gonna start off with maybe one pump in this and see how much I get I'll do it on my hand which I don't normally do because you waste a lot of product but I just want to show you how much comes out quite a good size pump not too much you don't want too much and the consistency is slightly runny it's not as runny as something like Chanel Vitalumia Aqua but it is definitely not a thick foundation I'm gonna apply this to one side of my face using the EXO Beauty flat top brush So this is one thin layer, so I definitely need more because you can see it's still quite patchy on my skin. Um, yeah, that was one very thin layer. But so far the colour does look really nice. It actually does quite nicely match me in my natural kind of tanness, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to continue all over my face now and do probably two good layers of it. The scent is almost unnoticeable. It's a very light, fresh scent that doesn't bother me in the slightest you can't barely smell it so this is what my skin looks like with two even coats and I really have not a lot of product on my face I think I used about there's still a bit of product left over so about three pumps all over my face and it is a really nice finish I would say this foundation has the ability to be like a really light coverage to a medium coverage if you went full coverage you just end up with a lot of um, product on your face because this is like two layers and this is like a good medium coverage you can still see some of the redness from my acne here you can still see a little bit of redness on my cheeks which I'm not phased about and you can still see the freckles on my forehead very slightly and on my nose so far I like it the finish is very very glowy like I don't know if you can see but it's very 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 glowy it's not like slightly glowy it's very glowy so I am going to treat this like a normal day's foundation so I am going to use some concealer and I am going to use some powder because that's how I would treat it in an everyday situation if you know what I mean so I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer over my under eye circles and then a little bit of my Kevin Aquine Skin Enhancer over my acne scarring and everything I sound so raspy and 
And I'm also going to use a little bit around my nose because it hasn't really covered up any redness around my nose. So compared to some of my other foundations, some of my other ones are very thick so they do cover up that redness. But I have been looking for a good thinner consistency foundation to wear on better skin days and like in summer when I don't want to feel like I've got a lot on my skin. So we'll see how this performs today throughout the day and hopefully it looks good. And then last step I am going to set it with my Cover FX pressed powder and I'm not sure what colour this is because it has completely rubbed off. I'm using it with an EXO Beauty Kabuki brush and I'm not going to use a setting spray with this because that will make it last longer and I just want to see how it would look with just the standard setting powder. So this is the finish now. I do prefer this finish. This finish is beautiful. So it's just semi glowy now through that powder. It's not too much. I don't look shiny now. Before when I didn't have powder on it looked quite shiny and oily. Um, but once it's set, which is what I'm going to do every day anyway, I really do like that finish. Okay, so now that that's all done, I'm going to continue on with the rest of my makeup routine. I'll do it for a different video so you can see that another day. Um, but yeah, it is currently 10.15 so I'll come back in a few hours and show you how it's looking. Okay, so it is now 3.43pm, so it's been a few hours since I applied it and it still looks really, really good, I think. I look a little bit shinyish over my nose. It still looks really pretty and flawless. There's no separation, there's no patchiness. Um, it's over my pores really nicely. There's no like enlarged pores or anything like that. It hasn't creased anywhere on my face, like on my forehead or around my mouth. It stayed basically the exact same as when I put it on. I don't think it's faded at all. The coverage still looks perfect and I'm really happy. So this lighting that I'm using right now is artificial light and I'm going to turn off all my lights to show you what the foundation looks like in natural light. So this is basically what you would see in like a mall like artificial lighting or just in any lit place. So this is natural lighting and sorry it looks a bit crap. I don't get much sunlight in my bedroom and my ISO is like way up on my camera so the quality isn't the best and it's still not really natural lighting natural lighting but you kind of get the idea it still looks really really good um, a little bit shiny of my nose as I said but I'm not going to touch this up at all because I don't usually do touch-ups but I think I would touch this up because it does look a little bit iffy over my nose but yeah I'm just going to wait it out and see how it goes until this evening just because I want to see you know what it actually looks like without any touch-ups at all but yeah in a real situation I probably would touch up a little bit so that doesn't impress me that much but just for the way my skin looks I really do enjoy it so far at least so it is now 8 30 p.m. and now this is the third and final kind of update. So it has been a really, really long day. When did I start? Like 10 or something. It is now 8.30. So basically this is after like 10 hours of wear, I think. And it looks pretty damn good. It has faded around my mouth a little wee bit just from where I've been wiping my lipstick. So that's kind of normal. Um, it is a bit shiny around my nose area, which is a bit odd because I don't usually get shiny um, very often with my foundations. Um, but it could just be down to the formula. It's very moisturizing and very, very like thin and silky and dewy looking. So I don't think I would recommend this at all for anyone with like oily skin. I mean, if any of you guys do have oily skin and it worked out well, then please tell me down below. But just from my experience, I have normal skin and it has kind of gone a little bit shiny. So I think this would be perfect for like dry skin since it's really hydrating. It's also gone really, really like kind of liquidy almost like around my nostrils and just in around here and then my forehead's a little wee bit shiny as well um but other than that like the finish is really pretty it hasn't faded at all it's still there like I mean it's pretty impressive for like 10 hours I really really enjoy the formula it's very nice to work with it was very lightweight like this doesn't feel heavy on my skin in the slightest it doesn't feel caked up it doesn't look caked up if you look really close up at my like skin you can't see like any layers of foundation or any cakiness whatsoever. It's very natural. You can still see the like skin underneath the foundation, but the coverage is still really good. But you can, yeah, you can just see like the natural kind of skin tones underneath. Other than that, I don't really know what to tell you. I'm definitely going to keep using this. I think it'll be perfect during summer, but I will have to take a touch up powder with me, which I don't normally have to do. So I guess I would use this on days where I don't really mind about my makeup. Um, and if I want my makeup to last like hours and hours and hours, 
I'll use something else. This is a really nice lightweight everyday foundation though just if I need to like go into town do some shopping or visit a friend for lunch like that kind of thing I think this is perfect. So I don't really know what else to say um, I don't really do these first impressions very often as you guys know I think I've done like one other one on MUA makeup which I'll link down below but this is like my first full on proper one so if you guys have any more tips for me on how to make these videos better and if you did like it, please let me know so I can do some more. I really love watching these kind of videos on other people's YouTube channels. So yeah, let me know how you think I did, what I should improve on, what I should include next time. And if you want to see any certain products ever, just let me know on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or something like that. Or down in the comments and I'll try to do that for you. Just for fun, I'm going to add a little bit more powder just before I go. Even though I'm washing my face pretty much after this. Just to see how it looks once I touch it up a little bit. So after just putting that powder on my T-zone, it looks brand new. If you are going to be wearing this for a really long time, just take a setting powder or like a blotting powder or something like that. I mean, it looks like I literally just applied it. And I should have mentioned it was really, really hot today. So it did last very well throughout the humidity. And yeah, as I said, it literally looks like... I applied it 20 minutes ago. I'm very, very impressed. So if you have dry skin to normal skin, I would 100% recommend this little duo. Um, I would definitely be using this more often and it was really affordable and I'll link it down below as I said. I hope you guys have an amazing day and again, please leave me some feedback and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! This isn't a harsh makeup look, but just to soften it a tiny bit, can you see how it's just a little bit feathered out? Before I um, do my mascara, I was about to forget what I was going to say just then, I'm going to start with my contour, wait, couture contour by Napoleon Purtis. I'm just going to put this on my 